A more expedient approach is sometimes necessary. Should we go up here? Is this what I meant for? I see an opening. Little kitty wants to see. Show your thingy thing to me. You have stairs? Sure you do. Oh, wonderful. Some sort of ancient culture, I'd imagine. Hmm. Let's uh, explore the little place first. Fallen Sarno Propylon Chamber. Oh, whoa, whoa! What am I looking at? Do I dare to touch it? Perhaps not. Hmm. Okay. You do not have the index for this propylon. Perhaps we will find out what an index is in this other section. That is slightly larger, I guess. At least horizontally. Vertically, it's not much to look at. Which is fine. That's how I like my women. <laughs> can be short and squat. Baby got back. Hmm. This seems to be a dungeon of sorts. Yes. It goes much deeper than it seems, I believe. Hmm. Well. We must do what we must do, I suppose. Hmm. Let's try this. Haha! <laughs> Nothing hides from Brandar! Oh, scamps. Let me see you properly so I can kill you. Hmm. Took quite a few hits, didn't he? Tough little fellow. Let's see if we can find his friend. I did see another one down here. Hello? It is me. Your friendly neighborhood kitty. This weapon has no effect on the scamps. Quite unfortunate that. Oh, and I can see now. Okay. Everything is fine. Just back up the stairs a little bit. Your stupid face! <laughs> and I'll take my arrow back. Thank you very much. Hmm. Looks like they've had quite a feast down here. Bones and bones. I should get some enchanted arrows. That is what I need to hurt these things, I believe. Mm. Is there more? There's another one down there. Oh, we should become lost in these dungeons, let me tell you. Art heal. Hello, kitten. What are you doing? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Art heal. How can I help you? What are you doing? I'm a witch. Oh. Can you tell me any advice? If you want to improve a skill you're terrible at, it's worth paying for a little training just to get you started. Sure, you can teach yourself, but it can be slow and frustrating. How about secrets? If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack them. So will I break the law if I attack you? Morrowind lore. Slavery is protected. By law in Morrowind, slavery is illegal throughout the rest of the Empire, but some Dunmers still defend their ancient right to own slaves. In Morrowind, slaves are bound by enchanted slaver bracers. These bla bracers drain the magicka from the slaves, so they can't use magic to escape. Unless you have a key, you can't get the slave bracers off. The Empire should put a stop to slavery, but the Dunmer claim the right to own slaves is guaranteed by the Armistice. Hmm. So you are a witch, but you are also against slaves. I don't know what to do with you, kitten. I'm quite at a loss. I shall descend deeper into the dungeon. 
see how ugly it gets. And if there's a demon, listen to me. No, dear, listen. How Baby, look at my face, yes. Uh, if there's a demon down there through that door, I'm going to come back and I'm going to fucking kill you, okay? So if you know there's a demon, you should leave, okay? This is your warning. I'm not normally a bloodthirsty man, but I must keep my lands clean. Mm. I don't know if she got the message. Let's see, a lower level. This could be interesting. Oh. Oh my. So, there's another witch. He seems to be quite upset. In your face! Ah ha ha! Can't catch the kitty! Ha ha! Ah! Oof. Gilbert Merrick. Let me feel around in your pockets. Oh, expensive everything. Look at this guy. Hoo hoo hoo. Ugh. Trash. Hmm. Should I descend down to the depths? I don't believe I will. I do have questions about that man. Um. Do you know this guy? I met him down there and he tried to kill me. I'm listening. You are, are you? Hmm. I should go down there. She still hasn't left either. Which I think is an interesting choice on her part. Oh, I knew you were over here in the dark somewhere. Hold on, hold on. I said wait! Yeah. What if I need to drink a health potion or something, huh? You don't speak English? Ugh. Waiting here is a crime. Okay, I drink some potion. There's no crime against that, is there? Drinking in public? Mm -hmm. Hello, little scamp. I'm coming for you. I also need to drink some of these potions. Because they are taking up a lot of space in my bag. Ah. More skulls, more snacks. Hmm. Lower level. We're going to need more unhinging one of these days. But for now, I still got my scroll. Ooh. Ornate chests, it seems. But nobody leaves a room like this unprotected. Mm hmm. Trapped. I do have a cure poison. Ooh, exquisite. Yes. I will take this exquisite amulet. Down! Down! Oh, that was a lot of blood. Hmm, extravagant. Oh, you've got some pretty nice things in here. If I can find somebody who will buy them. Hmm. Oh, many scrolls. Damage health. I, I will take this. Demoralize humanoid. Absorb intelligence. Drain personality. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I shall find a use for all of this at some point in my travels. You can never be too diverse with your uh, spell casting. Trap chest. Okay, I think we got away from that one. Cheap rising force. RK the enemy. Corpse preparation. That could be an interesting read. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> Tell me how to prepare a corpse. Mmm, yes. This one, please. Oh, look at Pentagram, the acquisition of the corpse. Hmm. Oh, this is only volume one for the, uh, the necromancers. So there are many necromancers down here.
So let's learn how to acquire a corpse, for curiosity's sake, hmm? While the arts of necromancy are only illegal in the province of Morrowind, few citizens of the Empire have an enlightened view of our art. Thus, the acquisition of corpses on which to experiment is often difficult. In Cyrodiil, a few necromancers who have served the Empire are given the corpses of criminals and traitors to use legally. This provides those who have acquired such a post with a fresh supply of corpses, most of them young, strong, and intact. In Morrowind, the outlawing of necromancy would make its practice impossible were it not for the fortunate institution of slavery. While the temple will investigate obvious signs of necromancy such as hastily emptied graves or ash stolen from one of their ash pits, a careful and discreet necromancer can thrive in Morrowind by taking slaves at a modest rate. Most will assume the slaves escaped or died in the ashlands. Finding suitable corpses in Black Marsh is nearly impossible due to their rapid decay. There are also diseases, Argonian tribesmen, and other difficulties that must be dealt with. I know of only a few slowed necromancers who operate successfully in Black Marsh, and even they st stay near the coast. While the forests of elsewhere pose some of the same problems as those of Black Marsh, the deserts preserve corpses for hundreds of years in a way that requires very little preparation. Kajit of the desert tribes are often buried with only a small cairn of stones, which are easy to find and uncover. This is true. However, it's not meant to be uncovered! The Kajit show remarkably enlightened indifference to graves being uncovered. Not I. It is said that the port of Senchel, which one may purchase anything one desires. That's true if you desire flesh corpses. Fresh corpses. While few Bosmer perform Arcade's ritual when burying the dead, the more primitive Bosmer still practice cannibalism upon their enemies, which reduces the number of corpses available. As would be expected from such a backward people, they have an intolerance of necromancy that goes beyond all reason. Many necromancers who practice our arts in Valen would then become one of the trees themselves. Somerset Isle is even worse in some ways. Some Altmer born into the most respected and noble and scholarly families are actually allowed to study the dead in the open. Their research, however, seems to be centered on finding ways to extend their lives even further, rather than the more practical uses of our art. A necromancer of any other race caught in Somerset Isle can expect the worst possible punishments. In Hammerfell, where worship of R.K. is strongest, the dead are almost always subject to R.K.'s law. There are exceptions after large battles or in remote areas where death occurs far from meddlesome priests. Fortunately, the dangerous terrain and creatures in the deserts of and mountains of Hammerfell makes the acquisition of corpses possible, though they are often in poor condition and require special care and preparation. The newly formed Orsinium presents a unique opportunity. As you know, orc corpses are the most sought after for the durability of their skin and the strength of their bones. If King Wartgrop Gortwag would listen to reason we could offer the services of our art in defense of his young nation in exchange for disposing of the orcs dead. A mutually beneficial arrangement, as I'm sure the orcs will agree. To this end, a delegation has been sent to Orsinium, though we have not heard any word on the state of the negotiations. In my native High Rock, traditions dating back to witch kings and nomadic horsemen mandate cremation of the dead. This is practiced almost without exception in the north throughout an imperial berry through an imperial burial in a tomb or city cemetery is more common than in the south. There are still many corpses easily taken from the battlefields of the War of Betany and the lawless times that followed. There are even rumors that King Gorthred of Daggerfell may institute the imperial practice of detonating the corpses, donating the corpses of criminals for necromantic study as a deterrent to the bandits and pirates that still threaten the Iliac Bay. In Skyrim, the cold weather and isolated terrain allow a few necromancers to operate fr freely. Alas, the availability of corpses is limited to Nords who die from exposure or in battle. While the cold is preservative, the snow makes these corpse corpses difficult to find. More research dedicated to the magical detection of corpses would be invaluable to the necromancers of Skyrim. The Slowed are the most famous necromancers, but little is known of their native Thross. In Tamriel, Slowed only practice necromancy on other races. It is uncertain whether this is true in Thross as well. If so, it would explain the number of slaves that are purchased in Tyr by Slowed merchants and the co rumors of Slowed airships carrying corpses from Senchal. These difficulties may lead many necromancers to create their own corpses. While I prefer to work with those who have died a natural death, a more expedient approach is sometimes necessary to further the study of the art. While the arts of necromancy can be practiced on animals, such experience, experiments rarely produce interesting results. The servant's ability to follow directions seem to be related to the subject's intelligence in life. While raising the corpse of a man, elf, or beast man can produce a useful servant, the corpses of animals produce mere guard dogs at best. Often a raised animal is 
Unable to distinguish its master from the rest of the living, and many amateur practitioners have been torn apart by the animals, animal servants they created. Let such stories be a lesson to you. I feel a bit foul holding that book, reading that book, but uh, I guess it is an interesting bit of information, to be sure. However, I will leave it on the ground where it belongs. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.